Hey guys, welcome to my legal classes. This is Ganesh Pujari. Imagine you are going to a court and you are putting a case against a particular person but because of the influence that person has in that particular area, everything in the court is going in favor of him. In that case, what will you do? That is what exactly we think because we need to prevail justice. In that case, chapter 31 of CRPC comes to your help which is all about transfer of criminal cases. There are seven important sections starting from section 406 to 412. We are going to discuss all the seven sections in one single video. So the video might go approximately up to 12 minutes. And in the last slide, I have brought two important case laws. Now you cannot skip the video because the last slide has two important case laws. So watch the entire video. And I have not made too much of effort reading out of the section because sections itself are very easy and very beautiful. So I have taken the sections and then tried elaborating along with few illustrations and case laws. Why to waste time? Let's get into the first slide. First thing first, let us try understand the entire chapter in brief. The first three sections that is section number 406, 407 and 402 eight deals with the power of the court to transfer and appeal that is supreme court high court and the session court the next three sections that is section number 409 to 411 deals with withdrawal of cases and appeals by session judge by judicial magistrate and the executive magistrate and the last section that is section number 412 deals with reasons to be recorded let us try understand these terms in detail why are we discussing this particular chapter the purpose of any court is to reach justice and for that the courts have the right to transfer and appeal. That's what exactly we need to remember while studying all the provision under this particular chapter. Now section 406 gives power of Supreme Court to transfer and appeal. It can transfer the case from one high court to another high court as well as it can also transfer a criminal case from one criminal court which is subordinate to a particular high court to another criminal court which may be equal or superior jurisdiction and which is a subordinate to another high court. For example, a case is running in a session court of Karnataka and now Supreme Court can transfer and appeal the case in another session court of Kerala or some other state that is possible as per sub clause 1 of section 406. Now who can make application? Application can be made by two people, one the Attorney General of India and the other one can be the party interested. Now if it is made by Attorney General of India, there is no affidavit or affirmation is required but if there are made by any other parties which are interested, they have to make affidavit or affirmation. Now if the application is made to annoy or irritate or unnecessarily aggregate the case, the Supreme Court can put fine, however such fine cannot cross 1000 rupees. To make this section more clear, I am bringing in three important case laws. I will read out what was held in Supreme Court so that you can understand the importance and when these sections can be utilized. The first case being Guru Chandran Das Chadda vs State of Rajasthan where Supreme Court held that it shall exercise the power to transfer a case if the party interested shows that there are circumstances indicating reasonable apprehensions that the court dealing the case may not be able to manage fair justice. The second case Zahir Hub was a state of Gujarat where Supreme Court ruled that it can order transfer even without the request of a party if it is convicted that such a step is necessary in the interest of justice. So the first one for manage of fair justice, second one in the interest of justice and it also says it is not necessary by the party to have a request. The last case law that I am discussing is Raja vs Mysore where it was held that if there is a necessity to transfer case to another high court in the interest of justice for fair trial and impartial hearing, transfer of case shall be allowed. So here again the importance of interest of justice is coming in. So basically whenever there is a fair justice or whenever there is a reasonable apprehension that the court dealing cannot deal the case properly or if there is necessity because of the interest of justice then the case can be transferred by Supreme Court from one high court to another high court or uh, one subordinate to another subordinate court of different high courts. That is all about section number 406. Section 407 discusses about power of high court to transfer and appeals. 
remember this is one of the most important section which got nine sub clauses and these sub clauses are very important because we are going to continue with the same sub clauses and the section number 408 also so that's very important so listen to me very carefully now this first sub clause discusses about four different time where the high court can transfer a case from one court to another now the first being if a criminal court which is subordinate to high court is not making a fair or impartial enquiry or conducting the trial as per the requirement in that case high court can transfer such case from one court to another or if there is some question of law of unusual difficulty is likely to arise in that case it can transfer the case from one court to another and the third being for the general convenience of the parties and witness it can transfer the case from one court to another and fourth being if the court which is handling the case is not having the jurisdiction of that particular criminal case as per the section number 177 to 185 in that case the case can be transferred now whom it will be transferred it can transfer to any equivalent or superior jurisdiction court or it can transfer the case to court of session or it can take the case by itself so this is all about sub clause 1 now who can make the application the application can be made by the high court's self initiation itself or it can be made by lower court or by any interested parties now if the application is made by advocate general of the state then there is no requirement of any affidavit or affirmation however if it is made by anyone else then the application shall be supported by affidavit or affirmation now if the application is made by an accused person there are two important requirements one the high court may direct him to execute a bond to ensure that if he is making such application to annoy irritate or unnecessarily aggravate the cases the high court can take compensation on the basis of that particular bond and this bond can be with or without sureties and such application should be given to the public prosecutor only after the lapse of the order for 24 hours he cannot make any application immediately after the order he need to wait for 24 hours that is the requirement as per sub clause 5 as i already discussed a subordinate court can also make an application for transfer but as per sub clause 6 high court got the right to consider or not to consider such application based on the interest of justice now if there are any application made to annoy or irritate or unnecessarily aggravate the case high court can put a fine but it should not cross rupees 1000 as per sub clause 7. While discussing the sub clause 1 of this particular section, we have understood that a high court can take a case by itself. But however, it need to ensure that it follows all the procedures to be followed. That is what discussed under sub clause 8 and sub clause 9 reads, nothing in this section shall be deemed to affect any order of government under section 197 which discusses about the prosecution of judges and public servants. Section 408 is almost copy paste of section 407 and this particular section deals with power of session judge. A session judge can transfer a case from one lower court to another equivalent or higher lower court for the purpose of keeping justice or he can transfer the case from one lower court to in, in front of session court itself that is possible and such application can be made by the lower court or any of the interested party or the session court itself can take a decision that is all about who can apply now all the sub clauses of section number 407 that is sub clause 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 are applicable for this particular section also but the only change that you need to note is sub clause 7 there says 1000 rupees fine for any annoying or unnecessarily wasting time with ill intention if somebody is making application in that case there the fine is 1000 rupees but under section 408 the fine is only 250 rupees that is the one difference you need to remember section number 409 deals with withdrawal of cases and appeals by session judge a session judge can withdraw any case or appeal or recall any case or appeal from assistant session judge or chief judicial magistrate at any time before the trial of the case of the hearing of that particular appeal is commenced so he has to do that before the trial is commenced now he can either try the case in his own court or he himself can hear that particular case that is all about section number 409
section 410 goes in similar line to section 409 the only difference is here withdrawal of cases by judicial magistrate he can withdraw any cases from his lower court and in both the cases that is under section 409 or 410 they have to ensure that why they here they have to follow all the procedures as required by the code section number 411 which discusses about making over or withdrawal of cases by executive magistrate goes in similar line to section number 409 and 410 i'm not going to repeat section number 412 is very important which discusses about reasons to be recorded whatever transfer or withdrawal happened from section number 408 to 411 the reasons need to be recorded for 406 and 407 that is transfer of cases and appeals by supreme court and high court there need not to be any reasons to be recorded but after that everything in all the cases the reasons need to be recorded that is transfer of cases by session court or withdrawal of case by session judge or withdrawal of case by judicial magistrate or the withdrawal of case by executive magistrate in all those circumstances reasons to be recorded that is as per section number 412. I know the session has gone little longer but however there are few students who ask for more and more case laws so for the benefit of them I am bringing in two very interesting and very important case laws as far as chapter 31 is considered. Now the first case law is K. Anamazigan was the superintendent of police. Here what happened we all know Jayalalitha was the chief minister of Tamil Nadu from 1991 to 96 and then she loses power. While she was not in power power several criminal cases came against her and 76 people gave witness against Jayalalitha. Now in the year 2001 she gets the power back she becomes the chief minister of Tamil Nadu again and the moment she becomes that she transferred the public prosecutor and new public prosecutor start hearing the case and all the 76 people who gave statement against her took the statement back. Now the person who has put the case that is Mr. Anabazagan, he gives a petition to Supreme Court saying that the case is not going in the way it should be held. So Supreme Court also feels that everything is not going right. So it transfers the case from Tamil Nadu to Karnataka that is to Bangalore. That is the first case. The second case is coming from Uttar Pradesh that is SK Shukla versus state of Uttar Pradesh. There was a criminal case against a MLA and a minister. Now they are quite influential and the criminal case was under the Prevention of Terrorist and Disruptive Act. Now they are known for terrorism so they did all those terrorism against the witnesses also and one of the witness was also been killed. Now this is the matter of consideration so a petition came in front of the Supreme Court and Supreme Court transferred the case from Uttar Pradesh to Madhya Pradesh to ensure that justice is prevailed. That is how you need to see chapter 31 section 406 to 412. That brings an end to this particular session which has gone about 13 minutes and I hope you have got all the information pertaining to transfer and withdrawal of cases. If you have subscribed my channel already, thank you so much for the same. If you are yet to subscribe my channel, this is your time to subscribe my channel. Please like, share and comment my videos. All the very best for whatsoever purpose you are watching my video and thank you so much for watching me.